Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Well, there's a lot of stuff out there that, that claims to, to prevent scale or to make it go away. Um, it's still a problem, though. And again, a lot of these products are actually phosphate-based. Some work better than others. Some are okay. Um, <coughs> some are pretty good products. But what we've come up with is an actual uh, phosphate-free formulation. We got it from outside the industry, and it works like a champ. We're really excited about this. This does two things when it comes to calcium, which forms scale. It is a, uh, a dispersant. If you add this to water, it finds calcium, and it actually gets a hold of it and changes the molecular charge of it. Calcium has a, a like attraction to other calcium molecules, so calcium in your pool or spa actually likes to find itself another calcium molecule and stick to it, and that sticks to another one, and they start to form crystal matrix structures. That's how scale starts to form. Um, what we do is we actually add a negative charge to that, so it's like pushing two magnets together. These things now repel each other. They disperse rather than attract one another. Also, it chelates these calcium molecules to where it deforms them, so even if they bump into each other, they can't stick to anything because they're deformed now. If you look at calcium under a microscope, it's got a bunch of sharp shards that stick to things. Um, basically, that doesn't happen now because it's deformed and the product won't form these crystal matrix or the, or the calcium will not uh, form because it can't stick together. It's compatible with all systems. You can add this right after you shock. It's not affected by chlorine or UV. And it really, really works. It actually helps remove existing scale as well. Um, this is a pool in Jamie's backyard in, in Baltimore where they had some scaling issues. It's a black plaster pool. You can see how bad it is there. But this was literally like rough sandpaper. This is like, like 100 grit sandpaper. Um, they tried about every product on the market today and they could not get this white scaling off of this black plaster. We added a double dose of this scale free and brushed the step section right there and you can see that it just loosened it up and broke it off. You do have to brush is existing scale, but when you use this product in conjunction with, it's going to loosen it up, it brushes off very easily, and it gets released back into water where it can't form scale ever again. It's been tested up to 900 uh, parts per million of calcium and not even affected by it. I mean, this is keeping out all kinds of scaling. So bottom line, you add this to your pool at the beginning of the season, you have to top it off with 10 ounces a month, that's it, but it totally prevents scaling from occurring. And if you have existing scale, it will loosen it up with brushing and make it go away. Great product, it's called Scale Free. Also, if you have scale up on the high line there, all you gotta do is raise your water level up, brush it, and it goes away. Could take a couple hours, it could take a couple of weeks, but it will go away. So just get it saturated, brush, and it goes bye-bye. Um, also, we have something called Pool Purge. If you get any kind of white water mold or you're worried about that biofilm stuff, you just pour some of this down your skimmers and it flushes everything out. All right? It will make the water look really nasty for about two days. Um, this is a, just a stronger, more powerful version than, again, this is the stuff you're going to flush out. Um, that's what that causes to the spa rash. But this is a more powerful version than our spa purge, which has been really, really successful for us. This is what it looks like. This is the stuff, you know, the spa formulation that's released, and then you just drain the spa. The pool formula, you just pour down skimmers, knocks the stuff out there. Your pool looks like hell for two days. You shock it, and then it's crystal clear and great. Um, but we have a formula for, for spas as well as pools. So it's a good product, especially if you have Bacchusil pools or anything like that where a lot of funky stuff grows in there. Um, if you do have spa customers, though, this is fantastic because you'll see the stuff that comes out of this line the lines and you'll want to throw up. Didn't you have somebody throw up? I did. When they saw what was coming out of there? They were so disgusted they threw up. But they're awesome. good customers. Yep. <laughs> so the spa formula will foam like this. The pool does not. It just creates like a film on the top of the water. Again, looks like hell for two days, but trust me, they'll see what comes out and they'll want to do it all the time. This is the one I'm most excited about. <clears throat> it's called Cover Free. In markets like this where we have a short window for the season, this isn't Florida obviously, you want to ensure that that pool is up and running pretty quick and that your customers can swim in it. Um, this is unlike the solar pill and the fish and all those other things, those liquid solar blankets, because this one works. We went outside the industry, we got this technology, um, it's actually used for water reclamation in the desert. When they're drilling for oil in Saudi Arabia and they hit a pocket way down there, of water, it's actually more valuable to the Saudis than the oil, all right? 
water is more precious there. So when they hit and get a few hundred thousand gallons of water, they'll bring it up to the top, they spray this exact stuff over the surface, and it buys them time to get their tankers over there, to get their trucks over there, to take this water and get it to where they need it. Um, it cuts down evaporation by 85%, and that's huge. <coughs> The next closest thing that we've confirmed in the lab that's out on the market today is a 10% reduction in evaporation, all right? This is 85. This is more effective at trapping in heat than an actual solar blanket. Even if the water's moving, this stuff works too. It forms a one molecule thin layer on top of the water that doesn't get disrupted. It just stays on top of the water. Um, and I doubt, since my other video didn't work, since I'm not using my laptop, I doubt this will work, but let's just see. Oh, what's the being served? Nope. All right. <laughs> what I do is I fill this up with pepper, and I can show you guys on my laptop if you want to see it after during lunch. We fill it up with pepper, and we add a drop of our stuff in there, and you can actually see it push all of the pepper to the side, and you can actually see this chemical lid being created. It's really cool, but that's what it does. So bottom line, a one quart bottle of this cover free, your customers can open their pool a month earlier and stay open a month longer. And here's the real kicker, they'll save 59% on their heating bill. Here's how. 70%, this is from the energy, uh, Department of uh, Energy, they released this, 70% of your energy spent on a pool period is lost to evaporation. That's their data, that's what they found, this is the Department of Energy. We cut down evaporation by 85% by adding just four ounces of this stuff in a week. That's it. You just squirt four ounces in. We're cutting down 85%. So 85, 70, that's a total of 59.5% they will save in heating expenses. For a $30 retail bottle, they're going to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Plus, their pool's nice and warm. When they open it, all the heat it gets from the sun during the day stays in. They don't lose it at night. So it's an amazing product. It could be a real... Could make you look like heroes to your customers and save them a lot of money, so that's a good thing. Uh, and last but not least, we have Cell Protect. A lot of chlorine generators out there still. We've still got a lot of pools with those on them. Or, okay. Well, we all have dealt with uh, this. We have to clean the cell. Bottom line, we have this stuff called uh, Cell Protect. You add it once during the season, essentially. Um, or you can add it on a, on a, on a monthly maintenance basis. There's, there's a different way to do it, but it prevents this from happening. This is a cell that was put on a pool right next to our other test pool. This one played it up, this one didn't. Obviously, A was the one that had the cell protect in it. It just prevents any type of scaling from occurring on those cells, so you don't have to wash them in acid. If you start the season with a new clean cell, you will finish the season with a new clean salt cell. So. Good stuff. Um, it, it works really, really well. Again, unconditionally guaranteed. And that's different than the scale stuff? Sort of. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. You have to add both? No. If you use the scale free, you don't need this. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're very similar. One is just marketed. One's marketed for any pool, the scale free. This is marketed specifically for saltwater pools. It's in our saltwater magic kit as well. So that's, that's why. We have a saltwater magic kit that has two products in it that adds monthly. The reason we did it and want to keep them separate, a lot of salt pool owners, chlorine generators owners, think that if you add something weekly, you're trying to sell them something. They don't need that. I have a chemical-free pool. So if they have this kit that this is in with just two bottles a month, it's real easy for them to swallow that pill. If you're using scale free, you don't need this product. I'm not going to lie to you. You're getting the same technology. So, again, just a little, too, I'm not here to sell you anything. You don't need them both. If you're using one or the other, you're going to get the same benefits. Cost wise, it's about the same. You're probably a little better off on the service side going with the scale free. Um, but yeah, you're, it's going to also prevent scaling issues occurring in generators. Okay? Any other questions for me or Jamie? So enzymes are good. They constantly, perpetually clean the pool water, clean the vessel so you don't have to brush, they clean your filter. Cut way back on chlorine use, way, way back on it. Phosphate's bad. Get them out of your pool. It's very easy to do. Simply use any of our phosphate products in the right amount, right in the skimmer. It's less than an algicide, and it's unconditionally guaranteed to work, unconditionally. All you need to do is keep a testable level of sanitizer in there and add it weekly and you will not get algae, guaranteed. And then if you have any scaling issues 
or you really want to make that pool um, enjoyable and efficient as far as an energy thing, we have all kinds of different uh, options there with our new products. Also, one thing I want to talk about, and it's kind of new, we brought it out about a year and a half ago, is we have a liquid cyanuric acid. I don't know if you've seen it. But if you're in a rush and you're opening pools and you don't want to have to sit there and add a bunch of, of regular bulk, cheap cyanuric flake you know, acid to a pool that takes two weeks to dissolve in that cold water, we've got a liquid formulation that's pH neutral. You just dump it in, completely dissolved in minutes, not days or weeks. So it's out there. It comes in a one-gallon jug. It's the equivalent of about four pounds. It will put about 32 to 35 parts per million of CYA into 10,000 gallons of water. The pool doesn't even have to be filled when you add this. If you just throw a hose in and dump the stuff in, that's as good as, as anything. The pump doesn't have to be running. So it's just one of those things. It's a little bit more expensive than your, your dry, but it's really, really easy and convenient for you. It's called instant pool water conditioner. So if you need some, Jamie can get you some to try out, but it's a really, really good product. Uh, makes it easy, especially if you just have to top off a little CYA. Good for salt pools. Yep, great for salt pools. Any other questions for us or... Me, Jamie, anything? Yeah. None of this stuff affects like a Nature 2 cartridge or anything. It's so. very, very compatible with Nature 2. It actually makes Nature 2. They don't want to admit this as they were told to because, you know, you don't need anything but their stuff with their brand on it. But Nature 2 is a good technology. And if you take out, it's like any other sanitizer, though. If you take out stuff that burdens, a, you know, your primary sanitizer, it works even better. So this actually complements Nature 2. They work really well together. Yeah, Frog Systems too, they actually embrace us and say use ours and Natural Chemistry's program and you will not have any issues. So Nature 2 and Frog are so similar. Works really well together. Good question. We are actually compatible with all sanitizers. Bromine, chlorine, salt, biguanides, any of this stuff is compatible with all of them. It's also non-toxic. All of our stuff won't kill you. Said so you can drink some of it, I don't recommend it. It tastes terrible. Terrible, terrible. Um, if you need test kits, get with Jamie. She will give you some. If you need more, just call us, and uh, we'll take care of you there. Um, but again, test for yourself. There's 100 in here. It only takes 10 seconds. And this just validates what you're doing. It just lets you know you're on, you're on task. And, and as long as you're doing this stuff, you'll have clear algae-free pools that you don't have to go mess with all the time. It just makes your jobs easier. Again, proactive versus reactive.